Hello, my viewers and subscribers. How are you all doing? If you are new to this channel, this is Living Life with Esohe. Our topic today is a serious one, the AS and SS genotype, as it relates to marriage. Why you need to know the genotype of a serious partner before you take it to the next level, whether your genotype is compatible with that of your partner. On one of your dates, ask him or her for their genotype. He or she might not know what it is. That is why you have to learn about it yourself. The term genotype refers to the genetic makeup of the organism. That is, this time, a human being. In other words, it describes an organism's complete set of genes. Our cells are made up of genes. It is the genetic arrangement that makes up the traits that a human being inherited from his parents. Genotype can also mean the entire collection of genes of an offspring inherited from his parents and for that of the blood. In human genetics, it is called the ABO blood group. So we have the blood group A, B, A, B, and O. The blood groups are six common different possible genotypes. And they are expressed as symbols like AA, AO, BB, BO, AB, and OO. Then there is also the AS, AC, SS, and SC. Each of these blood groups represented by its genotype has its own genetic expression and traits that was inherited from the parents. For example, genotype AO means hemoglobin A gene is from one parent and hemoglobin O gene is from the other parent. We are not going into the details of how that came about in this video. Then there is the SS genotype, which is the sickle cell anemia disease genotype. Each hemoglobin S gene was contributed by each parent. This is an inherited form of anemia, a condition in which there aren't enough healthy red blood cells to carry adequate oxygen throughout the body. The normal red blood cells are round and full, while the sickled red blood cells are dented and are not full. They are like a uh, moon shaped, as will be shown. There is also the AS genotype, not a full-blown anemia disease. Some of the red blood cells are sickled, while some are normal. So it's just a percentage of it that is sickled. So such a person is a sickle cell carrier and does not have the full-blown sickle cell anemia disease. Hemoglobin SC disease is the second most common type of sickle cell disease. It occurs when you inherit the hemoglobin C gene from one parent and hemoglobin S gene from the other parent. Individuals with hemoglobin SC have similar symptoms to individuals with hemoglobin SS. However, the anemia is less severe with the SC. Sickle cell disease and sickle cell traits usually are found at birth with a blood test during routine newborn screening test. A second blood test called hemoglobin electrophoresis will confirm the diagnosis. The only thing that can change the genotype of SS or SC is stem cell and the bone marrow transplant. People with sickle cell disease start to have signs of the disease during the first year of life, usually around five months of age, and this is a lifelong disease. And the lifespan of the patient is 21 years of age, and a lot of them die before 21 years, while very few survive. The severity of the sickness differs from person to person. So some patients live after 21 years with proper medical care. People with the sickle cell disease experience many complications, such as acute chest syndrome. This is like a pneumonia, chest pain, coughing, difficulty breathing, fever, and lack of blood cells, anemia, which presents as 
irritability, dizziness, and lightheadedness, a fast heart rate, difficulty breathing, pale skin color, jaundice, that is a yellow color to the skin and the whites of the eyes, slow growth, they don't grow properly, and delayed puberty. This is a severe disease that should be avoided by all means. If you bring such a child to the world, the marriage is going to go through tests and trials. Some marriages come to an end because of this. The parents are stressed with their time, with their money. They don't even know that if the child that is uh, suffering of pain and the uncertainty of the child surviving till 21 years of age. During my time and the generation before mine, I'm 60 years now, there was little or no knowledge about this. So when people marry someone with the wrong uh, genotype related to theirs, the child ends up dying after several crises. Their sickness is called crisis. And they attribute it to a witch in uh, their village or in their household or in their extended family that that witch killed their child. Thank God for technology and civilization. We now know that a parent contributes a gene each to form the hemoglobin genotype of the child. So before you get into a serious relationship with your partner, make sure you both know your blood genotypes and be sure it will not result to an SS or an SC genotype baby. Because of the severity of the crisis of the child, prevention is better than here. Some churches now even demand to see the uh, would-be couple's genotypes to be sure their probability of giving birth to a sickler, as they are called, is very slim before they wed them in the church. The sickle cell anemia disease is a serious one. So below are examples of cross-matching of the hemoglobin genes of two parents. For example, if parent one gene is AA and parent two gene is AS, parent two gene is carrying a sickle gene. Parent two gene is not a sickler, but a carrier. If we match the four genes together, for every four children that they will have, the probability of the genes of the children when cross-matched will be AA, AS, AA, AS. These two parents can marry themselves because it will be very rare for them to give birth to a full-blown sickler, SS baby. But they, but they have children that are sickle cell carriers with AS, like the one of one of their parents, parent two. But if the two parents are AS, AS, this couple are advised not to marry because when their genes cross match, out of every four children, one there's a probability one is going to be a sickler with the SSG. So you will probably have AA, AS, AS, SS. Depending on the division period of the genes, the S gene of one parent might be the one to attach all the time to the S gene of the second parent, thereby producing four sicklers. There is that probability. So people might be lucky, they just have all the four AS, but this is very rare. So this kind of AS, AS parents should not marry. Will you want to risk it and bring such pain to yourself and your child when you already know the outcome up front? So my dear friends, if you are AS genotype, marry only a partner that is AA genotype. Enclosed is a uh, uh, compatibility table between the different genotypes. And I hope this video has been very educative. Thanks for watching till the end. Please share this video for others to learn from. Subscribe if you have not yet done so. And like. See you in my next video. Bye from Grandma Esohe.